Good morning, Internet, and welcome back to SpongeBob Battle for Bikini Bottom. In the last episode, we took a nap, and then we showed up in SpongeBob's dream. This is insane. This is ridiculous. This is what his dream looks like. Oh my gosh, there's a giant SpongeBob up there. That's really cool. I wonder what it looks like from the inside. Ah, uh, we went slightly inside of it. Can we get on top of his pineapple? Hold on. I want to get up here. Wait a minute. Hold up. I think we can do it. What? No, come on. There's not... You can't get up here? Ah! Dang it. Oh, well. Okay. Ooh, a teleporting box. Can we use this to get up there? Nah, it's too... It's too high. Say hello to my little bubble Let's go inside SpongeBob. Nope. We gotta... We gotta circle around if we wanna do that. There we go. <laughs> That's what the inside of SpongeBob looks like. All right, what does Gary have to say? Golden spatula right after Patrick's rock. Gotcha. Meow. Oh, that, that's all that Gary says. Of course that's all he says. Let's take care of this guy so he's not a problem. Say hello to my little bubble friend. All right, cool. And by the way, if you guys are new to the channel, then make sure you guys subscribe if you haven't already. That way you will be notified next time that we premiere an episode and you can hang out with us in the live chat. Oh yes. And I have to give a shout out to our channel members who are Grandmaster Player 3 and Shanae Joe. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. You guys are the greatest. Oh yes. This is always my favorite part of the game. It was just so cool. Oh yeah. There's a Krabby Patty right here. Perfect. 86 spatulas. And I can't wait to cross this again. We got a slide. Thousand shiny objects for that. Okay. I could pay for that, I guess. If you guys want to see us waste money, in the last episode, we spent 40,000 shiny objects on one movie ticket. See ya. I didn't know he would move that fast. Coming at ya. Nuh uh. Done with you. Okay. Nice. It does shine. Wah, wah, wah. No, no wah. Okay. Let's enter Sandy's dream, everybody. 
What does Sandy dream about? Texas. She dreams about Texas, of course. And this is what Texas looks like, everybody. If you guys have never been to Texas before, this is Texas. Wow, your dream is massive. That's what she said. Everything in Texas is big, even dreams. Then you're just the right person to reach the spatula on top of that golden acorn. Okay. My dream, my rules. I'll get that spatula faster than a Texas jackrabbit crossing a four-lane highway. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I can't get that, but SpongeBob can. <laughs> Alright, let's get back without dying. You've just met the sponge in Nice super ultra mega monster combo, the best combo there is. Hi Larry. Hey Larry. What's happening, SpongeBob? He's so much nicer to me in this game than the last game. And the game before that. Alright, let's do it, Sandy. Oh, oops. You know what? I want to get all of those. We're going to get all of them. Which gives me another chance to get a Super Ultra Mega Monster combo. Good all of them. Okay, great. This slide is so fun. It reminds me of being in America. Hello, Plankton. That's what I need, a creature with a backbone. <laughs> uh, I need 2,800 shiny objects to open the gate. I don't have enough. Can you believe it? I'm poor. I'm a poor baby. Where's the... Okay. Feeling refreshed. How many do I need? I'm not too far off. Someone better make good use of all these. Don't worry, we will, we will. We're so close. What a twister. Oh my gosh. We're just six points away. Oh. Well, that's fine. Oh, only... Okay. All right, we got all the points we need. Now we can go back. When it eventually leads us back.
Plankton. That's okay. Pay this. Who puts challenges in their own dreams? Squirrels. We're tough like that. <laughs> oh, you'll need to be real tough to make this series of swings. We can do it. We could do it. I could do it in my sleep. You are asleep. As I said, in my sleep. Technically correct. Well, there's a golden spatula out there for you if you make it far enough. I'll do it so fast, it'll make your head spin faster than a horny toad on a merry-go-round. Why can't I ever just dream normal dreams of world domination? All right, let's do it. Nice. I love that effect. I'm getting dizzy just watching. Oh, look at this. They're going to crash into each other. Nice. Oh, that was so cool. That was great. Oh, that was so cool. What an intense battle. And they added all of these ex Thunder Tiki's just for fun. Oh yeah, I gotta keep my eye out for socks. Um... Okay, that's what I thought. There is a sock behind there. Do I go around the other way to get it, or...? Okay, almost didn't get that. Okay. Alright, great. Yeah, this is, uh, this is definitely a place where I can misplace where the socks are supposed to be. Hope it didn't already do that. We have four more socks in the whole game. What does Plankton have to say I did it? This beautiful mayhem wasted on some brainless tin cans. <laughs> and now moving on from that. We got some Texas to do. I went to Texas. I went to Texas for Invader Con 3. That was one of my favorite things I've ever done. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I can set them off without exploding. Dang it. No, no, no! Oh, no, 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 no. Ah, oh, there's a sock there! No, we're getting the sock. Don't ask questions, we're, we're, we're definitely getting the sock. What is that other way I could have taken? Okay. Don't 
There we go. Alright, we got three more socks left in the game. Cow pies. Oh, there's one. Alright, cool. So, two left. There's a lot of socks in Sandy's Dream. That was already three? Cool. Alright, there probably isn't anything over here, but... I might as well check because you can walk all the way around this. Alright, two more socks. We have Squidward's Dream left, and then Mr. Crab's Dream, and then Patrick's Dream. I don't think there's any in Patrick's Dream. So there must be one in Squidward's Dream, and maybe one in Mr. Crab's Dream? Or maybe, or maybe there's some left in SpongeBob screen. So that's what's inside of the head. I'll take that. Oh no! There we go. Yay! Spatula! Sandy can't slam. She's the only one that can't slam. SpongeBob and Patrick can slam. Talk to Larry! Wow, if anyone was going to make it down this sky slide, it was going to be you. Thanks, Larry. You're the best. And now for another Super Ultra Mega Monster combo. How many does that get us? Good ridden. Like over 200 points. Almost, was that like 300? 1743. So if the next one is more than 43, then it was over 300 points. Oh, it's exactly 300 points. That's so many! That's so many points. Okay, cool. All right, now on to the next stream. That's where we came from. Wait a minute. Oh, there's nothing up here. Okay. For some reason, I thought that there would be something up here. Spatula! 89 spatulas. Alright, anything of significance back here? Just underwear. B 
be the clam thousand? Yeah, I could do that. Taxes, everybody. That's what it feels like. All right, Squidward's dream. For heaven's sake, boy, cover your ears. You're so mean to Squidward. Mr. Krabs, what are you doing in Squidward's dream? Hard time, boy, or at least it feels like it. Do you think you can make it across this sheet of music to the golden spatula on Squidward's big nose? Yeah, probably. I see a sock. Don't worry, Mr. Krabs. I'll end this challenge on a high note. Uh, good luck, boy. When you get there, try to wake him up. I'm running out of aspirin. Oh my gosh. That's so mean. Ah, uh, this is a cool dream. I love it. I love it. Always open up the boxes. Gotta get that. All right. Platforming, here we come. This is just one of the best platformers ever. All the first games I ever played were platformers, and that's all the games I like. I love music. Do you guys like music? How can you not like music? If you're not music, you're... I can't even say that you're an animal. Like, all animals like music, too. Who doesn't like music? What's wrong with you? It's the best thing. I guess the Twonkies don't like music. Are Twonkies animals? Technically, yes. Alright, fine. If you don't like music, then that means you're a Twonky. Because that's how logic works. JK. That's not how logic works. One more sock left in the game. Yeah, it must be in Mr. Krabs' dream. about to make it and I didn't fall off nice good word there's a spatula on your nose Ninety spatulas. That's it. Let's talk to Mr. Krabs again. Good job. Now let's hoist anchor and get out of here. Okay. And now for his dream, Mr. Krabs' dream. Wah! Wah. 
Well, that's bad. Bye! Bye, sleepy time. That was cool. There's no sock back here? No, oh, I didn't get a sock. Okay. I could use that underwear, though. Dang it! Alright, fine. Well, taxes! Taxes for everybody! Mr. Crab's dream. Squidward, this is amazing. They're in each other's dreams. Amazingly awful, you mean. Mr. Krabs is dreaming of the Krusty Krab. What a surprise. I can't escape work anywhere. <laughs> Whoa! Lunch rush! I'd better grab my hat and... Forget the hat! Get <laughs> that spatula and get us out of here! It's like a shiny golden toothpick that holds together the bun of... We don't have time for this! Okay, so you have to get them all, and then it unleashes the Krabby Patties for you to get up there and explode them, and then, yeah, once you clear them all, you got the spatula. Okay, are you ready, kids? Set, go. And they're going to attack you from anywhere, it looks like. Yeah, they're even going to attack me from here, except for right here. Did you guys know you can exploit the game by standing right here and then Say hello to my little shooting... All these from up here. But we're not gonna do that. Because it's not as fun. I never actually done this game the right way. So I figured it would be fun if we tried it the right way. Okay, that one we completed. And which one is this one? Who knows? Dang it. Dang it. Um, okay, I got this one. There's underwear up here. Dang it. Okay, and that's the last one. Sock! I see the sock. Alrighty. We're good, everybody. They don't even see me from here. We did it! All we have to do is not die while getting this. Awesome. And now, I think we have every sock in the game. Well, of course we do. But yeah, we do. Alright, great. No more socks. 1992, that's when I was not born. But it's close to when I was born. Squidward! Finally! Now we can leave. But first, I need my paycheck. Mr. Crab! Excuse me. Mr. Crab. <laughs> <sighs> great. Great, 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 great. Yeah. 
Nope. Cool. All right, let's see if I can get this without... Okay, then. Well, great. Can we go back up? Uh, Sandy's Dream has the Super Ultra Mega Monster combo that's really easy to get. And we need to farm um, a, a bit more, uh, what you call it? We need to farm a bit more shiny objects before we can get all of Mr. Krabs' spatulas. Let's go to Patrick's stream. Patrick stream, here we come. Hi, Patrick. Patrick, you have a golden spatula. Give it here. Give it here. Not so fast, SpongeBob. You'll have to pass my test before you get this golden spatula. Very well, sir. Challenge accepted. Very well. Your challenge is to find the golden spatula. You're holding it. You did it. Now here is your reward. Yay! <laughs> Patrick's stream is so funny. I challenge you to... Patrick, I... Yes? I already solved the challenge. You did? Then here's your re... You already gave it to me. I did? Then I challenge you to... Ah, uh, Patrick, I've got to go. Gary, uh, needs another bath. <laughs> so what's cool about Patrick's stream is you can run off in the distance and keep running complete blackness. And where are you going to go? You go around the whole world. It's a circle. It's awesome. I love it. I love it. This game is so good. So good. Nice. Oh, yeah. The spatula. <laughs> Ninety-three spatulas. So the rest of them are from Patrick and Mr. Krabs. Gary, I did it! I did it, Gary. You wanna leave now? Meow. I know it's my dream, but I want you to stay. <laughs> Oh, thanks, buddy. Okay. Let's go back to Sandy's dream. Because we definitely need more shiny objects. And Sandy's dream, I think, is probably the fastest way to get them all. So how, how many do I need? So, uh, Mr. Krabs. Okay, just... More. Okay, and he raises it every 500, it looks like. So that is, uh, yeah, 55, and then that's gonna be six. So, so how much would that be? So, six. Oh, it's, it's 6,000 times three, which is 18,000. Gosh! So expensive. I would have had $18,000 if I didn't spend it all on a movie ticket. Thousand for real. Well, you've just met the Spongeinator. Is 
there a faster way? I don't think so. Because where else in the game can you get like a hundred points every second? So we have to get to 18,000. You've just met the Spongeinator. Yeah, this is why I, I, in the, no, not in the last episode. <clears throat> Before the last episode, I grinded for the movie ticket. And I, I, I didn't bother having you guys watch because that was so much, but <clears throat> this shouldn't take too long. You've just met the Spongeinator. Okay, we're one third of the way there. Hmm. Good thing I'm hitting it every time. Alright, we just need... 10,000 more. Met the Spongeinator. You know what's all right. I I promised myself I wouldn't rant about the. SpongeBob Battle for Bikini Bottom Rehydrated, but since we have this dead time, I might as well. You just met the Spongeinator. SpongeBob Battle for Bikini Bottom Rehydrated has way, way, way harder requirements for Mr. Krabs, and it's completely unnecessary. Like, in this game, the requirements are a lot, honestly. But in that game, it's just absolutely ridiculous. It's totally unfair. And then the the theater isn't even the same show. It's different. And it has less content. And it's such a ripoff. When I when I did it, I was so upset. <clears throat> It was so not okay. But see how fast we're actually getting there? We only have 4,000 more points left to go. Or no, not quite. Like 6,000, but... Yeah, we're two-thirds of the way there. And then 5,000 more. You've 
just met the Spongeinator. Because isn't this fun? For th I feel like there might be a small percentage of you guys that are like, I can't believe you grinded shiny objects off camera. Well, this is what it looks like. Like, is this really that fun to watch? Honestly, part of it is a little satisfying, but like, come on. You've just met the Spongeinator. We've just met the Spongeinator. Just now we met him. Not before. Just now. Right now we met the Spongeinator. Should I should I get it all the way or should we should we leave a little room? I'll get it almost all the way. See, we're only a thousand away. See, that didn't take that long. Oh, I missed it. I missed it! You just met the spun. That was still a super ultra mega monster combo, even though I messed it up. Okay, one more, and then we're out of here. Dope. Yeah, we'll get the rest on the way. Because we are walking back. I don't want to do the fast travel. We're walking back. It's not that long. Holy moly! That was way faster. Okay, cool. I didn't know that that happened. But the what? What? It went that way. I thought, I thought it would go more to the left. Alright, this is completely unpredictable. Alrighty. And this guy's last I need to get there. Boom, and we're there. All right, bye Gary. That was fun while it lasted. So, do you want to trade shiny objects for a golden spatula? That's quality craftsmanship, that is. Come again. Yay. All right, and then so, we got another one left. Do you want to trade shiny objects for a golden spatula? That's more than I thought it would be. That's quality craftsmanship, that is. Come again. We are off by a thousand points. We're actually, we're off by 1,500. All right, well, time to get some more shiny objects. Aren't you guys worth a good amount? Yeah, I think the next one he's charging is like, uh, 7,500. Hi, Patrick. Wow, SpongeBob, you found some! Now they're back home, safe where they belong! Here's your golden back scratcher. 
Spatula. I don't speak Italian. 96 spatulas. Let's go out of bounds for fun. All right, we basically need a thousand more. How much are these worth? Good amount. How much do you want? Seven thousand or uh, seventy-five? Your treasure chest's looking a bit light, boy. Do you think I've got bilge water on the brain? I ain't running a charity here. Come back when you've got enough shiny objects to trade. All right, seventy-five hundred. Wait, through it? Okay. Yeah, that's what I thought. Got seven thousand. All right, we're close. We're getting close. Four hundred some away. Okay, really quick. Should I do this? Do I care that much? Do I care that much? Up for a game of SpongeBob? <sighs> um. All right. Just for fun, I want to show you guys something funny. And. It's what happens when you go out of bounds with Patrick and Sandy. Because it's fun. I think the best places to do it are Jellyfish Fields. Yeah, Jellyfish Fields in downtown are the best places to do this. So let's hop in the box. We'll get all the spatulas we need on the way, or all the shiny objects we need on the way. Where's the bus stop? Oh, it's far away, isn't it? Okay, fine. We'll, we'll do it, we'll do it. Bryce, are you, why? Why are you doing this? Well, because, I don't know if you guys know this, but this is the last Spongebob Battle for Bikini Bottom episode. And I'm, I'm going to be sad to, to finish this game forever. This is the one Let's Play I get to do of one of my favorite games ever on YouTube. And then we're going to be done. 
And one thing I never shown was the really silly animation of Patrick and Sandy going out of bounds. Because it's so weird. It's so weird. <sighs> Jellyfish Rock. I never thought I'd see it with my own eyes this week. <laughs> this week? <laughs> I don't think I've ever heard Patrick say that line, honestly. I probably have heard him say that a long time ago, but I never brought Patrick over here to do it. There's also not many places you can get Patrick and Sandy out of bounds. But <laughs> this is one spot. So, yeah, I it's just such a weird animation. If you stay out here, you die. So we'll do that. It's isn't that weird? It's just the weirdest animation. I never thought I'd see it with my own eyes this week. You know, I'm actually surprised that, um, also, that throw fruit wasn't there before. Uh, I'm surprised, what, what, wasn't it? I don't remember it ever being there. Um... I'm surprised that the Duplicatortron's explosions don't harm the robots. Also, we have enough shiny objects now. But I want to show you guys Sandy's out of bounds animation. Because it's just the weirdest thing. Alright, let's go all the way back. Sandy's will be a lot quicker. Luckily, boxes exist, and the animation is super satisfying. Did we talk to you yet? How about the rest of that pedicure now, sir? What are you talking about? My feet are fine! Oh, I don't think we heard that before. Okay, that's great. My feet are fine. Okay, well, good thing we checked, because we got to hear that dialogue. Weird animation. Okay. Yeah, SpongeBob's SpongeBob's animation is one of the best. One of the weirdest ones. Now let's do Sandy's. The sock counter is gonna say zero forever. It's gonna be so sad. Or it is so sad. Alright, fastest way to Sandy is this way! Alright. Ah. Something like that. Oh, 
All right, Sandy's out of bounds animation. Ready? <laughs> she just becomes a squirrel. Isn't that weird? Time to finally go inside the chump bucket. Say goodbye to this game, everybody. It was nice knowing it. At least we got like 10 episodes out of this Let's Play. It wasn't super short. My favorite game ever, Crash Twin Sanity. I did a 100% Let's Play on that game, and that game is so short. The 100% Let's Play was only five episodes long. It was so short. I really couldn't make it any longer than I tried. All right, here so we go. Do you want to trade shiny objects for a golden spatula? Mm-hmm. That's quality craftsmanship, that is. Come again. 97 spatulas. Now we get to hear what Mr. Krabs says when we ran out. The only good robot is the one that's given me them shiny objects. And that was worth it. That was worth doing all of that for. All right, Plankton. Robot headquarters. Authorities have confirmed that the robots running amok through Bikini Bottom are indeed coming from the Chum Bucket. Yes, right where you're standing. Plankton, <laughs> owner of the Chum Bucket, and best known for the creation of robots whose sole purpose is to cause mayhem and destruction, has denied any involvement. And then stomp on your children! And stomp on your <laughs> children's children! This has been a Bikini Bottom news flash. They serve food here, yes, but they don't serve love. They as in Plankton. Mega combo. And the last spatula in Bikini Bottom is... Right here. Also, I forgot about these. Oh, those are too high. There, I got him both. Love it. All right. R1 enter Plankton's lab, and we have 98 spatulas. Let's go. Two away from 100. Look at that guy. With that big square head and those short shorts. That's the most hideous thing I've ever seen. <laughs> Wait, that hideous thing looks like me. I always knew SpongeBob would be the death of me. Chomp bin, jelly beans, a robot SpongeBob. There's definitely something funny going on here. And I don't mean you. Something else funny. Oh, Plankton, you're behind all this, aren't you? Yes, yes, it was me 
all the time. Behold, the Duplicatotron. I registered the name, so don't even think you're ripping me off. <laughs> With this, I can make a robot copy of anyone. I was going to make an army of loyal robots that would obey my every command. But they're running amok! I, uh, I forgot to set the switch to obey Plankton! Ugh. <laughs> but now that Daddy's home, I can fix that! Daddy, obey, What's obey. What's wrong now? It should be working! It is working! They're obeying me! I knew I shouldn't have made a copy of myself, but I'm just so cute! You've interfered with my plans for the last time. SpongeBob, meet SpongeBob. Hi, how do you do? Allow me to introduce my friends, Patrick, Sandy. Enough! Prepare to meet your doom! Oh my gosh. And here we are, folks, the main event! A gauntlet of ever increasing ferocity! But guys, I don't I don't know how to deal. I don't know how to deal with that new robot. It's a new robot. How could we possibly know what to do? So, I have an idea. I have an idea. We need to do some research on what that robot is. And I know just the place to do it. I think that entering that boss does this. It does. Oh, wait. Oh, it's just Plankton. <laughs> Plankton is the last one. Plankton is the finest model citizen I know. He likes helping people, singing, hacking computers. Uh, never mind. That last bit, Plankton's the best. That's awesome. I don't even recall seeing that before. Alright, cool. Well, now, now we know enough about Plankton in order to, to take down the robot. I'm glad we learned that. We did it. It's done. There's the robot's vulnerability. Let's see if SpongeBob goes for it. Well, almost. There's another opportunity for SpongeBob. Do it again. I dare you. In your the ear. Robot is down. So glad that that the has a range. Change tactics and fast. Say hello to my little bubble friend. Suck it to him, SpongeBob. Watch me get two with one. Can I do it? Can I do it? Suck it to him, no, I didn't do it. On the nose. No, we'll do that one last. And the robot is down. The robot better change tactics and fast. Karate. Taking a beating out there. Karate. When I was a kid, this was such a oh my god moment that there was a robot SpongeBob. I didn't think that that would happen. I was like, the madman, he did it. A robot SpongeBob. How could we possibly stop a robot SpongeBob? Say hello to 
Robots made himself dizzy! That's it! Now issue the coup de grace! Coup de grace? Was he just saying Kavrate wrong, or is that a different... Is that a, something in a different language I don't understand what it means? On the nose! 99 spatulas! Supposed to get married next week. Nice. Did he say married? I'll repair you, baby. SpongeBob supports gay marriage. Oh, I'm shrieking. No, Badrick. I think the robot is getting bigger. SpongeBob, he just flew into your head. Well, then I'm going to follow him into my head. I mean, into my robot version's head, which is like my head, but bigger and more metallic. Will you go already? Here I come, robot plankton. This is just getting too weird for me. Why did Squidward even show up? Why? Why? Why does... He doesn't care. He's not even a playable character. Will SpongeBob be able to neutralize the giant robot's brain? Or will SpongeBob go home defeated and dejected? Stay tuned! Ah, just missed him. Bubble power. <sighs> Come on. On top, taking control. The launch can go. Now the robots taking nice. a beating out there. SpongeBob hit the fuse. Say hello to my little bubble friend. Bubble power. The music in this boss is so good, too. There's another oh, opportunity it. for SpongeBob. Nice move by SpongeBob. This match is just about over. Got it. Suck it to him, SpongeBob. What a cool environment. It looks like SpongeBob has an opportunity here. I know. That's the ticket. Ah, uh, such a good game. Best game. Give me again. Yeah. Good job. Suck 
Get to him, SpongeBob. All right, do you guys want to see the inside of Robot SpongeBob's nose? Well, this is what it looks like. And that's his snot dripping right there. Why? Because. Because you can. Because we can! Nice move by SpongeBob. This match is just about over. And finally, the robot's brain. It's all ogre now. That giant robot brain has to have vulnerability somewhere. Bye, Plankton. That's the earwax. Oh, I can't watch. Okay, maybe just a little. <laughs> Looks like SpongeBob may have a moment to act here. That's the ticket. This is it, everyone. The end of Battle for Bikini Bottom. That's it! Now issue the coup de grace! I'm becoming a lawyer. You haven't defeated me yet. I still have lots of robots all over Bikini Bottom. I'll summon them all, and then we'll see. Uh-oh. I'll destroy you. You'll destroy me. I'll destroy you. I'll destroy you twice as hard. Oh, yeah? I'll destroy you plus one. Well, I'll destroy you plus infinity. Shut up, you stupid robot! Who are you calling stupid? I went to community college, you oversized coffee grinder! Oh yeah? I'll show you! Come here and fight like a monster. Well, Plankton, I hope you learned your lesson. Oh, I certainly did! Next time I'll get it right! <laughs> Ouch! We won! Who wants to get ice cream? I do! I do! <laughs> Need I remind you all that there are still robots out there making a mess of Bikini Bottom? Sandy is right. Well, I thought she was a squirrel. I'm being punished. I don't know for what, but I'm being punished. There's still work to be done out there. Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy wouldn't stop, and neither will I. We can't rest until Bikini Bottom is safe. We did it! Ah, uh, wasn't that great? Saving game. And when you complete the game 100%, this happens. Are you ready, kids? Aye, aye, Captain! I can't hear you! Aye, aye, Captain! Ooh, ooh. Who lives in a pineapple under the sea? SpongeBob SquarePants! Absorbent and yellow and porous is he? SpongeBob SquarePants! If not every nonsense be something you wish, Yay! 
And then this game is so good that it lets you play the credits. The best games do that. I love it. I'm just kidding. Not all games need to do this, but this game does. And it's awesome because why not? Why not? We're gonna play the credits. Ah, that was so good, everybody. How'd you guys enjoy that game? This game is absolutely uh, 10 out of 10. So good. Yeah, this one gets a 10 out of 10 from me. There's nothing else I could say that should have been done better. It was great. I loved it. The story is wonderful. It's it's great. It's SpongeBob. What I really like about the the ball is that um, it's a completely different mechanic, and there is no there is no jumping, and so you have to just like kind of learn the physics of what it's like to move around as the ball and try to get everything doing that. And what would really ruin this is if they added jumping into the ball. It also wouldn't make any sense for the ball to be able to jump, now would it? Now would it? It wouldn't make any sense. I want to get the purple one. This might, this might prove too hard for me to do. I'll give it a couple more tries. Nick, 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 Nickelodeon. <gasps> I did it! Oh my gosh. That was honestly kind of lucky. Ah, almost. We almost got up there. I think we're supposed to go this way. Yeah. There we go. Thanks for playing. Sound design by. Oh, how do we know when the credits are over? How do we get up there? Oh, I got that one. Ah, oh, nice. Cast. Okay, the thanks for playing is probably when the credits were over. Because I definitely saw the cast already. Alright, so let's just do this final part. Yay! Purple Toilet News! Oh wait, it looks like there's one more part I didn't go to. Alright, we'll do that, we'll do that. Oh, we didn't go through here either. So 
SpongeBob SquarePants Battle for Bikini Bottom, developed by Heavy Iron. Heavy Iron is so great. All right, that was it, everybody. Time to finish. Ah, <sighs> so good, so good. We did it. Oh, it just immediately turns you back into one. All right, cool. Yeah, when uh, when you finish the game, this platform appears here, and then you can go back into the credits level. Love it. Awesome. We're going to continue more with SpongeBob SquarePants in the next game. So to see that one, it's going to be the SpongeBob SquarePants movie game. And that one's going to be in the top right corner there. And then to see the previous SpongeBob game, SpongeBob Revenge of the Flying Dutchman, go ahead and click in the top left corner here. But that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you very much. And until next time, later days.